Hey everyone, how are you guys tonight? We are live here on the Brush by Brandy Facebook and Instagram pages. My name is Brandy. I am the owner and artisan behind Brush by Brandy. And I'm here to paint live with you guys tonight. And my husband Sean is here behind the camera. So he's going to be helping out. If you guys have any questions along the way, pop on and let us know what those are. And I'll answer them the best that I can because we are using a brand new paint tonight, which I'm really excited for because so far I love everything about it. Um, so if you guys follow my page, we are going to be using country chic paint. So this is country chic and it's absolutely gorgeous paint, but we're going to be blending over the top of this cedar chest. I promise you this cedar chest is the same exact one that you guys saw on my page earlier today. Uh, there will be a full video on it. I've done everything so far on video, but it has already undergone a monumental transformation from the like 1980s oak cedar chest with awful hardware to this really pretty piece right here so it's way better right um let ah. me yeah, yeah not, <laughs> oh, too not, late not a fan not a fan <laughs> uh can you go behind me in that box that's on my counter and there's the well that would be behind you so you know oh yeah me. yeah well yeah, okay, i don't mean to either pull one wherever you want to get it from i don't really care <laughs> uh in that box of country chic is there a color card can you get that for me uh, so how this started out, this is the old oak finish, right? And I ripped this, uh, this molding went across here like this. It had a hideous skirt on, like it looked like Sean in a skirt. Okay. Hideous. I mean, hideous. Now, how do you have that as a comparative? <laughs> did, did your self-esteem just go, Wait a Weird. minute. No. <laughs> you want to look good in a skirt? No, I don't want to have a skirt on ever. <laughs> I... Uh, all I did to take the skirting off from the bottom, I unscrewed it and I gave it a tap with a hammer and it went blink and it popped off. So I did all that on camera too. I went ahead and added these pretty legs here. These are in my Amazon shop and they're just, they're solid wood legs that I added to the bottom, screwed them right up into the bottom of the piece. Um, We're going to have to get a budget for sound effects. Yeah. So you know, I don't, yeah. I don't think that really <laughs> Our sound guy is not cutting it. Someone told me the other day, you need to get an assistant because I showed how messy my workspace is. And I was like, well, I, what? Have, I have a part-time one, but she doesn't come to my house and clean it. So, <laughs> um, all right. So that's what I've done so far. I popped the molding off, sanded it smooth, took the skirting off from the bottom, uh, screwed those legs up in underneath. And then these giant guys here, these are wood you bend moldings. So this isn't the same one because I obviously put them on the piece. But um, these are wood you bend moldings that I used wood glue and a little bit of heat with a heat gun. And I attached these right to the front of my furniture piece. Uh, this is the wood you bend that they came on. And these are number, um, okay, you guys got to write this down, 1323.26. Wood you bend, you got to name your, your moldings because the, the numbers, I, they just like whoop, right off my head. 172-43 yeah. dot. <laughs> yeah, now everyone's super confused no. they were writing that number down. 1323.26. Okay, that's the number that this would you bend is. They are huge medallions, okay? But they were perfect for the front of this. And um, let me get, tell you guys where this piece is going. This is actually going to be for my two-year-old niece. Her name is Adeline, and I love her. She's a little curly-headed mop top adorable uh we have such a, a good time with her so this is for my two-year-old niece adeline uh it's going to be used in her bedroom she already has a dresser in there that's done in all these shades of blue you guys she also is in love with frozen right now so what do these would you been pieces remind you of right right so uh i'm gonna go for the same blues she's got on her dresser all the sparkle we're gonna do some raised stenciling going to be a really pretty piece and we're doing it all with country chic paint um okay so a couple things i just wanted to do some housekeeping really quick so if you don't like the talking part then go get a snack right now wait what but i wanted to you're show gonna you guys, do some I, housekeeping no no no, no 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 you misheard me oh i wanted to show off some of the companies that i work with uh, at christmas time because i work with some amazing companies you guys and right now uh especially when just the quality of people makes all the difference in the world to me. I want to give a shout out to Surf Prep. So this is from Surf Prep Sanding. They are a family owned company. Um, I'm super proud to work with them all the time. But this gift that they sent us really got me because 
let me tell you the story of this. Uh, it's a game. It's a little game that you hang on the wall. Uh, and it, it comes, anyway, it's, it's got instructions in it. And, um, but this woodwork here, they hired a 14 year old woodworker uh, to custom make these for their people. And so we all got one and it's just absolutely gorgeous, but I loved even more. They sent us this little card that told us the story. Uh, she's 14 years old. Give her a follow at Annie's Woodwork. Annie's, A-N-N-I-E-S, like, like Orphan Annie is how it's spelled. Annie's Woodwork. And a 14 year old girl made these little games for all of us. So I thought that was really sweet. So I wanna give a shout out to, to Surf Prep. Um, you guys can check out all the Surf Prep products. I have a link. Um, uh, if you go to, it's pinned to the top of my profile on my Facebook page if you want to check out the surf products. And also Illumilite is another company I work for, and they're the resin that I like to use. And they sent me a Christmas gift too. And they sent me a hat and a tumbler and a note, a Christmas card. So I just wanted to give a shout out to Surf Prep and Illumilite and Merry Christmas to you guys because some of these companies are amazing. And the people uh behind the products are, you know, something that you guys don't see every day, but the people are amazing too. So shout out to both of those. And then I'm going to tell you guys a secret before I post it on my page. Shh. Mama wants Christmas gifts too, right? So um, another company that I love is called Cozy Earth. And if you guys follow, I have their bed sheets, their bamboo bed sheets, but their pajamas are my favorite thing under the sun. Sean knows. Like I will go dig through the laundry if I put them in and they haven't come out yet. I will go dig to find. Okay, so hold on. They're your favorite thing under the sun? Um, so does that mean I'm a second place? Oh, I mean, I've seen you in a skirt now, so. Oh, my, yeah. my, my placement is double yeah, digits I, I do, at I, best. I love the jammies. I okay. love the jammies. Okay. So Mama wants Christmas gifts too. And so I got, for Christmas, a second pair of my favorite co Cozy Earth jammies. And so I want to show them off to you guys. And I also have a coupon code that I'm going to share with you guys tonight. They are made of bamboo. They are the softest, but they also have this little bit of stretch to them. Like, I mean, it is the most amazing fabric. It feels like heaven on, and it's been so cold that I'm living in these. Hold so on, I'm, I'm I have looking, them in black and I got them in navy too. I'm looking for the green. It's made with bamboo. Um, well, okay, yeah. I mean, they're, it's- Where's the knuckles? You can't sand it. It's not woodworking at all, but I mean, they're, it's the, it is a gorgeous fabric. These are their ripped knit pajamas and they're gorgeous. So another thing I'm going to have you guys write down, I have a coupon code for you guys for 45% off, which is the largest coupon code I've ever had with them. And I'm super thrilled that they gave that to me. So 45% off at Cozy Earth with code Brandy45. Brandy45. Okay, you guys got that? Write that down too. So Merry Christmas. Moms, under the tree, you guys want Cozy Earth, I promise you. Um, so those were all my Christmas shout outs, you guys. Thank you for giving me the second. Let's paint. So let's, and go. Let's talk about Country Chic. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the colors that I got from them. So I got to choose some of their colors. And let me show you guys their color card. It is a beautiful color card. These are all of their colors, which are right up my alley right here. I think they've got a little bit of everything. Uh, I want to say 66 colors. Am I right? 66? Don't quote me on that, but I'm trying. Uh, their paint is not required to be sealed. It is a chalky style paint. So while you don't have to seal it, it will dry to that dry matte finish. It's very soft. It's very blendable. We're going to do some blending with it tonight. Uh, the colors that I chose, I've got this one here, which is this deep, rich blue. If it'll stand up here. It's Debbie says not. this is like Oprah's favorite things. I know it is. <laughs> huh? Jammies for you. Jammies for you. Yeah, these are all, they are all my favorite things. Um, so I got this deep blue here, which is called Jitterbug. That's this guy. This softer blue, we're going to be using these, is called Wanderous. Um, I got... This creamy white, which is called Vanilla Frosting. It's not a pure white. It's more of an off-white, which I choose uh, an off-white when I'm blending versus a pure white. Their pure white would be over here, which is called Simplicity. Um, the coverage on these is amazing. I always like when I'm trying uh, testing a paint, I do try to get a shade of white because I feel like that's where you really see uh, the coverage of the paint is in the whites. 
And then I got this gray, which is called Rocky Mountain. And so this would be a darker gray. They also have some lighter shades of gray, Hurricane, Pebble Beach. So they've got a full range of grays. I mean, beautiful, soft pastels. Uh, they're bold, uh, primary colors, a lot of muted shades, which is right up my alley. They've done an excellent job. I even like how their color card is set up where it tells you the soft colors, the earthy, timeless, and bold. It's very nicely done. Their website is beautiful to shop on. They have retailers throughout the U.S. and Canada. And what size are those containers? Uh, oh, these are their 32-ounce containers. They are giant. They are giant. I don't normally order 32-ounce, but they do also offer a 16-ounce. That's usually what I order. And they also have a 4-ounce, which would be like a sample size. You may be able to get a... Um, you may be able to get a project out of the four ounce if you were doing multiple colors you would you could use a few of the four ounce sizes but they're pretty small uh, so that's more of a sample or a touch-up kit size and then uh, you can get the the full sizes in the 32 and the 16 ounce I will put my link above I always appreciate when you guys use my link um, I, I earn a small percentage from those but I didn't have time before I was getting on so as soon as I jump off I will put my link in this post and you guys can check out their full line too um, the other colors I chose, we're not going to use these tonight because I have another piece going in them, but look at this wine color. This is called Cheers. How appropriate, right? It is this, it is this beautiful purple, it's plum. It's very plum, very rich. And then I also got this pink shade to go with it, which is called Ooh La La. So I felt like I could mix the cheers and the ooh la la can go also with the vanilla frosting. I can also use the gray with them. So I try to kind of choose colors that I can mix and match and make different combinations across them. So they also have a primer, a, 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 a gripping primer. They have a clear coats, which I haven't gotten to the clear coats yet, but I will definitely be using those over the top of the paint, but we're gonna use the paint tonight. Oh, look, Sheila approved. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> That's all that matters. Done. Okay, so I've got my Would You Bend attached. Um, I did go ahead and prime this. This is a gray primer from Wiesel, uh, and I use their stain blocking primer because this is oak underneath, and I just want to make sure that it doesn't bleed. So I and use, again, the company is this is Country Chic paint. Country Chic. I'm gonna show you guys the, the front of their packaging. They have gorgeous branding, you guys. Gorgeous. I mean, they've done such a good job with the quality. Um, I also am going to mention something else. When I opened these last night, they have a seal over the top of the container. The seal that's on these is sealed so tight. At first, you're going to be like, oh, I can't get the lid off. I can't get this off. I used a razor knife. Um, but what I'll tell you is there is no air getting inside this package. So there was no skin formed over the top of this paint. It was so fresh inside. Um, it had minimal separation to it. It was the seal that's on these containers is, I, I mean, it's worth its weight in gold. And I think that's something that goes underappreciated. But, um, but I really appreciated that when I opened this paint, it was so fresh and sealed really well. So don't take that for granted, guys. All right, so the three colors I'm going to be using are my vanilla frosting, and I'm going to use that kind of on the center of these medallions. So let's go ahead and start applying it. I'm going to use a variety of brushes. Let me show you the two brushes that Country Chic has. Now, sorry, real quick, just to set you back a little bit. Jammies that you brought on, what company, what are the actual name of the jammies called? They're called, Co it's Cozy Earth is the name of the company, Cozy Earth. And um, the jammies are their rib knit collection, rib knit. Um, you can use that coupon code. I'll give you a link. I'll go back through these after I'm done and I'll put, I'll put links up in the post too, because I have a link for them too. Um, and then that coupon code again is brandy45 and that works for everything on their website, you guys. So happy shopping, Merry Christmas. That's a heck of a coupon <laughs> code. Um, Okay, the two brushes I have from Country Chic, they've got this guy, which is a nice full brush, and I'm gonna use this for some of my blending tonight. So this is a nice, soft, really full brush. And then they've got this guy, which uh, this is wet, because I used it yesterday, and I wish it wasn't totally wet. I would like it to be dry, but this is a great brush for just laying the paint on. Okay, so those are the two brushes I have from Country Chic. I'm gonna start with their white. 
This is vanilla frosting, and I'm going to lay it around the center of this medallion. One I thing, just want to say thanks, Country Sheep, because now I'm hungry. <laughs> for oh, vanilla frosting. Got a little piece of my, there we go. Okay, I'm going to dig it into this molding, and I'm starting with the white because over here I started with the blue, and I feel like it got a little heavy on the blue. I know that my habits are I tend to get heavy wherever I start with. And so I'm going to reverse my order over here. And then when I do that side for my second coat, that's only one coat over there. I will make the same correction because I actually think I want a little more white in my design. So in I'm going in around this uh, Would You Bend medallion. So I'm going to have to kind of dig it into all these crevices. This is just my first coat. You guys, it's going to take me two coats. My two coats are going to be exactly the same on this. Now, do you still hit it with a Mr. Bottle? So this paint is not as thick as what you guys are used to seeing me use. So right out of the container, I don't feel like I need it. I will use a little bit when I'm blending just to keep it in motion, but I don't feel like I need it just to get a coat of paint on, if that makes sense. I, I used to use it even just to get a smooth coat. And this paint is, a, it's not thin at all by any means. The coverage is beautiful, but it's, it's a little, uh, it's a little looser coming right out of the container, if that makes sense. So I don't feel like I need it, but I'm going to use it. Uh, I did end up using a little bit when I was blending with it. And that's just because when I'm blending, I'm, I work the paint for a long period of time. So I need to keep it from starting to set up at all. So I want the little tips of this medallion to get some of the blue. So I'm not going to go all the way to the outer edges. I'm going to leave a little bit of it and that'll be where my blend kind of starts. But I'm just going to get right up to it. One thing I do when I've got a lot of texture on surfaces like this is I'm going to have to, at some point, I will lift this piece up, you know, onto its back like this and make sure that I get all up into all these crevices right here. So I'll probably end up looking at this piece from multiple angles. So when you're throwing your wood you bend on, do you uh, glue it and then throw your primer on? Um, or do this, you primer first? No, this one I did uh, put the primer on after the wood you bend was on. And I did that because I like it to look like it's a seamless part of the of the piece. And so I like it to have all the same coats of paint that my piece does. I am carrying my paint out a little further than I said, only because I want to blend. It, I'm going to bring the blue in, but I'm going to use this as a an area that I want to blend. And I want a little bit of white there. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of white. So would you bend on like interior uh, bathroom cabinets? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You could put it on your bathroom cabinets. Super plain fronts, like exactly what this was. A super plain front, so boring. People use them on their doors. Uh, like if you have really those flat front interior doors. Let me show you guys what else is on here. This molding right here is their rope molding. So I can't unroll this because when, when it's not hot, it's actually... Um, it's very rigid until I heat this, it's rigid. So it stays in this nice roll. But once I heat it, I can unroll this. And I, un and I did this all on video, you guys. So don't worry, this will come up uh, for my YouTube channel too. And I unrolled it. I used a little bit of wood glue. I, I put the piece on its back, put some wood glue. I did uh, 45 degree corners right here. And I framed all this out. So this was all added molding too. <laughs> Springs on. Oh, hi, Spring. <laughs> Asking if I'm enjoying my day off. Yeah, so you guys, it's a little late in the day. Spring works. To ask. Spring works with my husband Sean. Spring's also a good friend of ours, though. Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, be nice. Be nice. She's watching. We can't. We can't talk about Spring like we normally do. I guess technically, is it would Spring be considered like your? Is she your boss? Yeah. Technically. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I want. I mean. Temporarily. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess Spring is technically Sean's boss right now, but she's a good friend too. So everybody say hi to Spring. Spring is moving from California to Tennessee very soon. Spring, we're going to come stay at your house. I, keep, I swear we're going to. All right. This color is called Wondrous, and it's this beautiful soft blue. I'm putting this on with my, um, this is my uh, Klingon S50. I'm using a variety of brushes, guys, because it's kind of what I have. I've got kind of this random collection right now. And as I figure out what my favorite brushes are, those will be the ones that you see me. I'll, I'll start investing in a collection of them because right now I've got just kind of these randoms. 
So I do like the S50. It's a really nice brush for laying the paint on. Oh, and Krista, sorry. Krista, don't worry. You can say anything bad. Spring knows me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're that kind of friends. It's all true. Spring. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I like this side a little better. It's a little bit softer. Here's where I'm going to start adding my water because I don't want this paint to start setting up and it's on very, very thin. The coverage is excellent. So just because I have a thin coat on there doesn't mean that I can still see like the wood underneath. But can you guys see the difference? I want the lighter colors to come out. Now I'm gonna come and I've kinda of got a mess here where these two colors meet up and I'm gonna just brush them together. This is my Country Chic brush and I don't have any paint on it, but I'm just using it to brush these colors together and it kinda of becomes a brush for this color in between the two. The soft blue that the white and the, and the Wanderous are creating. Vanilla frosting and wanderous together create kind of this really soft blue. I'm gonna and, go in, but you got all this stuff in my way. Sorry, I know I'm, a, oh, I'm a huge mess over here. Don't knock my paint over. I did knock some paint over last week, you guys. I spilled Wiesel paint all over my carpet, so I have. But it's a beautiful spot. It's a great color. It's Poseidon. I just have this big, huge spot of Poseidon on my carpet now. But this carpet was intended to be a drop cloth, so don't worry, guys. It was always the intent that what? it won't... It, yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, it's not going back in my living room or anything like that. It was intended to We're be gonna a drop We're going to return cloth. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's from Costco. <laughs> I really don't like so, how it's flowing. So, Fireball June, how's the return policy <laughs> there at Costco? Is it still working for you? Just curious. Or Asking working for, for me. A friend. Yeah. All right, so I'm just smoothing this out. I want to make sure that I don't have any paint that gathers in all these crevices. That is one thing you want to be careful of when you're painting over a really textured surface like this. And then I'm going to come back and I, I kind of dirty it up the white in the middle. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. And I'm just going to make this that pure vanilla frosting coming out from the center. So can you see how I have this soft blue around the tips and then the center will stay in this pure white? Um, when I hit this with a little bit of gilding waxes and some sparkle, this mold is going to be beautiful. Uh-oh. Inga's in East Tennessee, too. Yeah? I don't know, Inga. We might be coming to visit soon. <laughs> we have a little temptation. All right. And... Oh, Fireball June. Anything, <laughs> anytime, any reason. <laughs> I know. It's so crazy. Sold. I can't. I feel guilty. Oh, no. Don't I... worry, Fireball no, June. My, my rug is not from Costco. <laughs> It's not. Although now I kind of wish it was and maybe I really could take it back. Um, so I spilled this five gallon <laughs> yeah, container of, of paint. Of coffee. <laughs> yeah. All over my rug. And so I just came in with a little bit of my uh, Jitterbug, which is my darker blue. And now I'm just coming back with my brush from the Wondrous, which is the lighter blue. And I'm going to work that in a little bit. Just right along the edges. And I like this color scheme a little better. That's a little dark for me. Um, on that side and so this is helping to just lighten it up so I'm just coming along the edges but this paint you guys I don't know if you can tell I have to give the people what they want <laughs> oh. <laughs> brother Gary is uh, on so uh, Gary I really messed Bob up he's he's really he's re so uh, what's that what's that um, uh, like, he's not aging gracefully it's like a Marvel movie where it's like half his face is one and half his face is the other what's that, what movie is that what? Uh, yeah Anyway, if you look at Bob from this direction, he's looking good. Looking good, Bob. Like you're Sporting the yeah, dew. walking working it tonight. Like but then if I uh, turn Bob this way, I spray painted him. He's looking a little you know, like two faced, but that's Batman. Yeah, uh, oh is it Batman? I mean, that's like, oh, and yeah. he's man down. Uh -huh. <laughs> man down. Uh, all right, I really like this color scheme. What do you say? Do you guys want to repeat this on the other side? Because I'm liking the softness of this. This is a first coat. Let's repeat it and give that side a second coat. Do you guys like these colors though? So this paint is super blendable. Super easy to blend. This is that Country Chic brush that I use for my blending. And I'm just, uh, I'm just taking that lighter color, that kind of in between blue and I'm just carrying it out a little bit because I just really like the glow that it looks like this would you bend is giving off. What do you say? Let's lighten this side up over here. I'm gonna have to move my body. Really? I know I tried to move the piece but that's not working for me. All right so I'm going to repeat the process and I'm going to start again. I told you guys last time when I did this first coat I started with my darker blue and I think that's how I ended up with it so dark around the edges. 
And I really want it lighter. I'm just clapping. Oh, easy there. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow, you really like I'm this. Really out of beat. You really like this blending, don't you? <laughs> You're a huge fan. <laughs> I think Sean's killing mosquitoes back there. Steve Martin He's, and the jerk. Is that you getting you, getting used to Tennessee already? Yep. Land of 10 million snakes. <laughs> yeah, snakes and bugs. I don't well, know. They eat something. I don't know. You guys tell me all the hazards of Tennessee. Tell them to me now uh, so I can mentally prepare myself, please. Uh, we're obviously country music fans, so that's a plus. California is just a little too nutty. It's a little too nutty out here. I don't think we're ever getting out of COVID lockdown. I'm pretty sure of that at this point. Okay, so I'm going around. This color is Vanilla Frosting, which is this nice, creamy, country white. It's got a little bit of yellowy undertones, like an ivory. doesn't look yellow at all, but it's got yellow undertones in it. Mom, it's Cyborg. Cyborg? <laughs> my, son, my, my son just went to look up a little bit. <laughs> No, Elizabeth made a joke, and it's just—it's right up my alley. You're not gonna tell me. I have to wait till afterwards, <laughs> and I go back and read this. So I said I had to clap. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. I mean, I hope not. I really, yeah. sincerely hope not. Because <laughs> we share a lot. Oh yeah. Now, so. It's the gift keeps on giving. I just want to make sure we're not sharing a bath towel if that's the case. <laughs> Oh, Gary. <laughs> oh, man. It starts to get a little too much for my blood. <laughs> and I gotta wait. See, I'm cut out of the loop. I gotta wait till I get off to oh, even be man. able to respond. <laughs> Sheila, I love the whole no moderators. <laughs> right? I have to 100% agree with that. We can still have fun and and not need a moderator. I totally agree. So Colleen, uh, it's on the table. She's asking if we're moving. It's definitely on the table, which is really sad because you guys know we built our house here in California. But I'm telling you, this we can't take it anymore. <laughs> we're good. We're gonna lose it. We're we're gonna go postal any day now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm putting it out there to the public. Something's got to give. So, I don't know. No commitment, no plan as of right now. Just uh, a lot of conversation. A lot. All right, this is my second coat. The coverage on this is amazing. I do love it going over that primer especially. I'm going to give it a little bit of water because I want to work these colors together. It's a little drier going on that second coat because I've got the, the chalkiness of the paint underneath it now. I'm going to refill my brush a little bit. I'm using, uh, this is my Klingon S50. Oh, Cindy, I know Texas. That was, that was on the radar. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about Texas is you guys have some bananas property taxes going on there. And I know that's coming from California where everyone's like, uh, your guys' taxes are crazy. But California's taxes are income taxes. And we have a business and uh, multiple houses here and kids. And so you kind of, you know, you get write-offs, right? There's no write-offs for property taxes. It's just a... So we like Texas, but Texas has some bananas property taxes. I don't know. Can you guys talk to your people about that? And then I'd be all in. I really do. Because I find more homes. You're, uh, the building style in Texas is a lot more similar to California. Yeah. Spring's got a point. They started the conversation. <laughs> A year ago, two years ago. Yeah, we're uh, a year ago. We're a little and slow moving. They already have two properties. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, Springs. Uh, well, Springs jumps into action a little bit more. I think also the difference is having young kids. Like it means it means pulling our. Gotta look young at the school out, system and everything. And, yeah. yeah, I think it would be much easier if we didn't have young kids. kids. I know kids ruin everything, no in, including your couches <laughs> and your moving plans. So this is my country chic brush. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some of the paint out of this. It's getting a little muddy. So I'm just going to lay off some of that paint and I'm going to keep working these together. Just cleans it up a little bit. This is my second coat on this one. So I'm going to try to get this as clean as I possibly can because I want to be able to leave this one after I'm done. Although the angle of this is kind of weird. 
Like ideally I'd be sitting in front instead of trying to stretch over to this other side of this piece. Oh, Debbie. She said Florida's got an excellent governor. <laughs> I will give you that. We are having governor envy. I will give you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think uh, we have the polar opposite here in California. Like, could not be more the other direction. So, yeah, definitely agree with you guys there. And if you're into that thing, that's cool. Okay, and then same thing I did. I'm going to clean up the the white in the center of this medallion here. Oh, hey, yeah, that's that okay. a good. I bit. think we just got an invite. You want to go down under? Oh, I do mean Australia, oh, by the way. Australia? Well, you guys are totally locked down, though, right? Is that still going on? <coughs> I thought Australia was, was you guys were struggling with it all, too. Can you even travel in and out of the country right now? I don't know. I might get stuck in Australia. I always wanted to go, though. I wanted to go to Australia mm -hmm. so bad. All right, so I'm just working this with this brush, just smoothing it out. As the paint starts to set up a little bit, it actually gets a little kind of tacky. And it it really, it doesn't move as easily, but that's good because then I can just really smooth out with a really soft hand. The paint has set up a little bit. It's not super wet anymore. And that's when I get this really smooth effect. I just feather it out as it's almost dry. All right, so that's really pretty. So I've done two colors. I'm gonna do my third one around the outer edge. This is Jitterbug. Oh no. man, the conversation's flowing, but it's given <laughs> destinations, places. <laughs> oh, let me say something about this cedar chest. Okay, so this is made by Lane. Uh, it's a Lane cedar chest. And you guys know that Lane has a recall on all their lock mechaniz mechanisms. Um, and so I do have a new lock mechanism ordered for this cedar chest. You can just go onto their website and they'll replace them under the recall. Uh, so I'm just painting over the one that's on here now because I'm going to replace it. So that's this guy right here and the lock mechanism that's up here. Not worried about getting paint on it. It's coming out. All right. And this is my uh, brush that has the Wanderous on it, the lighter blue. I'm spending a little more time on this because this is my second coat. This is my final coat. I want this one to be, to actually be good. Over here, I could kind of just go through it a little bit more quickly. Wasn't as worried about it. This is the one that I want to stick with. I do like this nice full brush as a blending brush. This guy is from Country Chic. It's a synthetic bristle brush, but it's nice and full got a little bit of rigidity but not too much that is a beautiful brush for that purpose okay so I, I think I like this but I don't know I may sit back from it and see something that I don't see from where I am right now I think I like this now, Sheila says we can always be neighbors with Kristana. She's coming back soon. I know she is. And oh, believe me, that girl tries to sell me on it on the daily. On the daily, Sheila. Like she's got me living in her garage at this point. But it, but Maine is so far away. So far. Like I'd like to be able to come to California maybe sometimes. Like we, we're native to California. This is all we know. So that's why it's so scary too. All right, I'm just cleaning up this top rim right here. I want to make sure that that matches the blending along the body. That was a little bit of my Wanderous. This is a little bit of the Jitterbug because I want this top rim to be just as blended as the front is. Uh, I did take the top off of this. It just um, unscrewed off at the hinges. And that's because I'm going to do a wood stain top on, on the top of this. And I didn't want to get any paint on it. So I just went ahead and unscrewed the top sitting behind me. It also has a cushion for the top. Uh, now this is for my niece, and my sister didn't want the cushion, but I might give it to her anyways. I think oh, I'm gonna. Look, Bob sleeping on the job in there. <laughs> is he just taking? It looks like a coffin, huh? What a jerk. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a big coffin for Bob. You got a cedar, cedar coffin. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna get, get this leg down here, but I actually think I wanna put a little bit of gray on this leg. So I, let's try it. Right now I just have the jitterbug on there, but I'm gonna add a little bit of this Rocky Mountain. Um, so what I was saying is my sister, I have to find a brush that's dry because I've been, because I have only one set of these Klingon brushes and I usually have about 30 sets of brushes, uh, they're wet. And so I'm gonna have to invest in another set of brushes. That's for sure. I'm just kind of using some random guys. This is just a Wooster brush. It's okay. These are good if you're just doing a piece or two, but they don't have longevity. I will say that. Now, how's the feel for blending? I love this paint as a blender. I love this paint as a blender. <laughs> Sheila. Didn't dry them? <laughs> it's aimed at me. Yeah, I know. It's really... Uh, <laughs> it's really an inadequate term comes service. to mind, but I'm not well, mentioning it. And the that. other thing is, is the hole on these doesn't fit the hook. So I'm going to have to add a leather strap, like a uh, leather cording. And that way I can hang these from my hooks. But as of right now, I don't have a way to hang them. So I have to um, use my drying rack and it takes a little longer to dry in there. So I think when they're hung, that will help too. See all these fun little adjustments I get to figure out along the way. All right, so I gotta put my big fat head in the way, I'm trying to get around these legs. So these are cute little, let me take one off. I'm gonna show you guys. Again, paint that you're using. This is called Country Chic Paint. I'm gonna put a link in the what post when I get off. I'm taking this leg off so I can show you guys what these are. I'm unscrewing it from the back. I just put paint on that one so I can't take that one off. All right, so these are the legs. These are just cute little French provincial legs. They are solid wood. I added these bolts here. They're, it's a two-way bolt that I just drilled out the, the hole. It, it had a pilot hole in the leg. I got these off Amazon. These are in my Amazon shop. And then they're just screwed up into a bracket up underneath the piece. So I took off that hideous skirting that most cedar chests have and I added cute legs. All right, so I added some of that uh, Rocky Mountain, which is this dark gray, just to the legs. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it up onto this corner right here. You're going to love the comments when you get through. <laughs> you guys are giving me something to look forward to tonight. Merry Christmas, Brady. It's, yeah. Okay, so let me show you what I did. So I just added the uh, Rocky Mountain onto the leg, which is that dark gray. And I just did this little corner right here. Just this little... I just carried it up the slightest bit onto that corner. Is spring still on? I, I spring. I still have. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> she didn't tell you if she was leaving. I saw the paint for spring nerve. Too. Oh, you still have that? Yeah. Oh, sitting, I threw that out. <laughs> sitting out here in my workspace, along with everything else, the kitchen sink that's out here right now. Okay, this was a little bit of the jitterbug, and oh, I just. Oh, she's on. I just worked those together. Sorry, Spring. Spring, before, you, don't have any before paint. you move away, I have stuff for you. Okay, so I think I'm gonna like the, the dark gray. My niece's room is all the blues and teals and grays. So that little bit of gray just on the legs will be really pretty. Let's come, come do this. Let's come do this side right here. This is gonna be an awkward angle for me. But you know, what? what isn't awkward about this show, right? Never mind. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Kids are present. You, making you uncomfortable tonight. Yep. All right. So I'm moving my brushes. I'm going to scoop my stool back a little bit. All right. It's very, very soft and smooth. Um, I, 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 you could give it a light sanding. I do like to give a light sanding in between my coats. That's what a light sanding looks like to me. Um, how does this feel? It feels very similar to what... No, no, nobody asked that. Well, I'm trying to... I'm, I'm trying to... You know, one thing I... As I'm comparing paints, I, I, I cannot stress enough. No two are ever going to be the same. I'm seeing this from a, a different angle now, and I'm kind of fixing this little edge on the front. So now the uh, the lift table, you have this on. Oh, yeah. This is from um, Harbor Freight. This is... They have two different versions. I'm going to give this a little bit of water on this side. And I'm going to start out with my white vanilla frosting in the middle. I'm just going to give myself kind of a block of it. Oh, Mary did ask, how's it feel? I'm sure that's just a pun on yeah, me. Yeah, so, thank yeah. you. <laughs> thank you, Mary. Sean doesn't know yep. what, all the things we care about. Yep. 
Um, it feels very soft. You don't have to seal this paint. I will go ahead and give this a clear coat. It's going in a two-year-old's room. Uh, you don't have to, but it does dry with that chalky feeling. Um, and so I'll probably put a coat of a satin, their satin clear coat over the top of this. They also have waxes, oil-based waxes, which I love an oil-based wax. Um, and waxes I like for more of a rustic, like farmhouse. That's the genuine, what people would have sealed their furniture with would have been waxes. So I'm going around the outside of this first. This is Wondrous, which is my medium blue my lighter blue color. And then once I've got that kind of established on the outer edges, I'm gonna brush right through the center of this. Um, unrelated to what you're doing, do you have a transfer <laughs> on a piece and you decide you wanna remove it? Yeah. How, how would you go about doing that? Okay, there's a couple options for you. You're probably gonna mess up your paint no matter what you do, but you can take, a, uh, you can take um, steel wool and mineral spirits and you can scrub it off. Uh, transfers are adhesive, and so the mineral spirits will get to the adhesive underneath and weaken that, uh, and a little bit of steel, steel wool, and then you just clean it again and you can uh, redo your paint. Um, I don't know a way that's going to save your paint. You can, use a, uh, you can use a razor blade and kind of scrape as much as you can, and then just use a, a uh, adhesive remover you're going to create damage. It just depends you're going on how to create much damage. damage. Yeah. Uh, you can, you can sand it. It will get, get your sandpaper good and gummy because it's made of adhesive. Uh, so I'm just coming back. This is my country chic brush and I'm just really softening the brush strokes that I created. My, I didn't add any water. So my paint is kind of starting to set up. It's gotten a little bit sticky and I'm just feathering those out. So now the colors again, as far as pigments, because they're coming off, uh, a couple of people mentioning it, they're coming off really green. Uh, there is some green undertones. They're definitely blues, though. So you know how uh, these are teal blues, and teals have a, a, a light green undertone. Uh, I'm also in artificial lighting, so which is going to cast a yellow light, so it's going to really make it look more green than it probably is. But this is, these are definitely, definitely teal blues. Uh, Wondrous, I would say, is very similar to like a duck egg blue. Most brands have a duck egg blue. That's a duck egg blue. Uh, Jitterbug is a darker shade of that. All right, and now I'm going to come back. This is my Jitterbug, and I'm just going to get those very outer edges because remember, I want to keep this a little bit lighter. So I focused on the, the two colors that I blended in the center, and now I'm gonna blend these ones around the outside, and then I'll work all, I'll kind of get all three of them going together using a little bit of water, just because uh, that, the circle that I created in the center, that had started to set up a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna come back with my same brush that I've been blending with. I'm gonna lay the paint off, and I'm gonna feather that darker blue right into those edges. And then I'll get a, just the gray on the corners. I'll reestablish that on this side too. I really, really, really like how this paint blends. Really like it. Um, I had someone message me and say they were working with a particular paint. Um, and it's an all-in-one style paint. And I think most people want an all-in-one style paint that blends. Well, kind of by definition, most all-in-one style paints are not going to be easily blendable. Um, so, you know, some of the be benefits are of a chalky style paint are you get all these beautiful artistic looks that you can do with it. But I'm going to need to put it, I, I will put a top coat on this. You don't have to if you like the chalkiness of it versus all-in-one style paints, you don't have to put the top coat on them, but you're not going to get these blended, beautiful, artistic, you know, last week I did kind of a, kind of a drippy textured look. Um, an all-in-one style paint is not going to do all those things the same way. So by all-in-one style paints, I mean, uh, fusion mineral paint would be an example of that. It's a beautiful paint. It's not going to blend the same way. So I think everybody wants the best of both worlds, you kind of want that all-in-one and it can blend, but kind of by definition, all-in-one style paints are not going to be great blenders. 
So the brush you were using for blending. Uh, that's the that's the country chic brush. That's this guy right here. See the handle. So this is from the paint brand that I'm using tonight. There are two brushes. I use both of them. So the the one that I've been putting the white on with. Uh, this guy here, I would say, is your your basic brush. This is also from Country Chic. This is your basic brush for just laying on a smooth coat of paint. And then I'm using this guy. They're both synthetic bristle brushes. I'm using this guy because it's got that fuller head on it. And I'm using this to really blend the paint out. Llewellyn says hi. Hi, Llewellyn. How are you doing? You've been <coughs> on my mind a lot. I hope you're doing good. Uh, Merry Christmas. All right, so this is my uh, Wondrous, and I'm going to hit this top edge so it matches the body. And I just use, I'm just using kind of a vertical brush stroke. I don't want to get paint inside on my cedar. Let's talk about what I'm going to do with the cedar. Or on actually. Bob. Oh, that already happened. Yeah, Bob's in there. He's taking it, taking a nap, taking a dirt nap. And then this is the jitterbug, and I'm just going to blend out just on the corners because that's where I've got the jitterbug is my darker color. So I just blend those out on the top too. And then I did a little bit of my gray right up onto this leg and right up onto here too. So how does that side look? Again, I'm at an awkward angle. If I was doing this, I would be sitting head on with it and I'm kind of off to the side, which is not ideal. Okay, I get the hint. So I might look at this later and say, what was I thinking? But right now I think it looks good. You guys might disagree. And let, this is back to the front. This is one coat. This is two coats over here. Um, I just had a th just had a thought. I just did the side of that piece. I do plan. What time is it? I do plan to add a raised stencil to the side. So I will probably be doing that thing again, anyways. I just thought of that. That I want to use. Uh, let me show you guys the stencil I want to put on. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I just did that. I didn't even think about it. I even have I even had my uh, joint compound out to do a raised stencil with you guys. What? Yes, I know. My bucket of joint compound. Bucket this, oh. <laughs> this bucket right here was this one gallon bucket. What does this cost? Like four, 14 cents? No, no, like 10 bucks, 12 <laughs> yeah. bucks maybe. So, so I wouldn't normally get this size bucket of joint compound. Uh, this is great for, uh, let me show you guys the consistency of it. And why do we have it? Oh, because <laughs> I bought it to use around the but house. You're actually going to use it for joints. Yeah. Uh, here, I'll, I'll just go ahead and throw really quick because it will just take me a minute you're making this awkward because that um, doesn't uh, yeah, can you move help me? easily this isn't gonna turn. oh wait wait can i do that yeah there we go i don't know can you yay, yay. yay. You did it. okay these are from these stencils are from um grace on design so my friend heather marzigliano at grace on design sent me this stencil pack uh Single layer stencils from Grace on Design. This one is called Victorian and has three stencils in the package. I love all of them. They're all really pretty. I think I'm going to use this guy here. It's kind of a lattice pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is get it out of the package. <laughs> Step one. Step one. So these are the three designs. I've kind of got this... Uh, leafy filigree here which that would be really pretty dang it i like that one too and then i've got this damask pattern which i just used on another piece oh that damask pattern on the drawer sides and i've got this which is the lattice pattern and i'm kind of leaning towards this lattice i like the size of it how it goes from the top to the bottom so uh let me show you guys just going to tape this up Wow, I mean, through the video, I keep like every once in a while I get an angry face. I got some angry people. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, guys. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you too. What shrinks are for? Anyway. All right, so I'm just gonna tape this up. What What's making people angry? Race, I don't know. Race, race stenciling makes people angry. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah it, get, it makes me violent. <laughs> Sorry, you feel that way. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna try to kind of tape this around the corner without getting it too much into my paint, and then. I'm going to take a silicone spatula tool and a putty knife. You said I had a putty knife out? No, I asked you if you wanted one. <laughs> the answer, <laughs> to, when I said it nothing, it, been, when I said it, nothing, it meant yes. It's like a mental challenge. So this is joint compound. It's super buttery and I can just scrape it right over the top of this stencil. 
This is a silicone spatula tool. This is one of the spread pals from Redesign with Prima. And I just scrape it over the top. I know if it was an accident. I just, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just like happy accidents. It's always fun to break yeah, the Yeah, that's monotony. true. I've done that before, too, where I, I accidentally do it, and you're trying to do, like, a laughy face, and you accidentally send them the, like... All right, I'm going to try to get this as even as I possibly can. So, again, name of the stencil. Where did it come from? So, this is uh, the Victorian Stencil Pack, and these are from Grace on Design. Again, I have a link for them, too. I will go ahead and go through and add them. Uh, all of my links, you guys can always find them on my website at brushbybrandy.com slash links there's a page just with links for everything i always use i always have a link for it uh, but i will add them to the post too everything i use tonight so there's going to be probably three or four for the would you bend the paint and this stencil pack from from grace on design called victorian oh this is very true good thing we don't have the bird emoji oh yeah <laughs> all right see how easy that was so just a couple minutes, I will need to do a uh, replace my stencil and bring it over this way. And I try to get it as even as I possibly can in the crevices of the stencil. And I did want to do this to the other side as well. Whoopsie. So now I get to redo that paint coat. So I'll have three coats on that one side. Totally random. Uh, wasn't there a shout out or something? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Did someone remind me or are you no, reminding me? No, I just, yes. every once in a while I have these, you know, epiphanies. Well, you guys, okay, so I, and I'm glad Sean said something because I asked him to remind me because I knew that I was going to forget, right? I Basically, said, it's selfish and I didn't want to get in trouble for forgetting. <laughs> uh, so sometimes I get asked to say hi to people and this was asked as a Christmas gift, which I was super honored by. And so I want to say hi to Jennifer. Jennifer is one of our one of our viewers and she's a follower and a fan and I'm super honored and I want to say Merry Christmas to Jennifer. Thank you guys for uh, watching and sticking with me. Everyone say hi to Jennifer at Merry Christmas. I'm going to peel this stencil away. How pretty is that? Uh... Okay. And so then I will probably let this dry and yeah. then I can match my stencil up right here and do one more row and then I'll have a lattice pattern across the side of my piece. This will wash off just with water. Super easy. Don't I don't even let it dry. I'll just wash it off with water. Um, probably not something you want to put down your, your pipes, uh, joint compound, so I can wash that out in my hose bib. Um, I take a shower. With and it's just going to be a light relief. So once this dries, I will spray it with some shellac to seal it so I have a barrier, and then I can come blend my paint over the top. If I were to just blend the paint over the top of it when it's dry, I can reactivate the joint compound, and it will... Um, I'll lose my stencil that I just put on there. But that's really pretty, huh? And that'll just be a light textured relief in my paint. And again, what was that product you used? This is just joint compound. This is a hardware store. Wallboard joint compound from DAP. Do not buy the gallon bucket size. <laughs> we actually need it. it for, we actually yeah. used it for a wall. That's why we have the size. It comes in a smaller size too. I swear you don't need this giant thing of drunk on that. <laughs> Prefer the <laughs> if five gallon container. If you're using it for rain stenciling, it will last you 18 years. I'm gonna I rebuild a piece. Yeah, that's just a wallboard joint compound. You can use this as a wood filler. Uh, it's not gonna be super durable, so it's gonna be for small. If you just wanted to fill small hardware holes, uh, it is recommended to refrigerate it after it's open. Um, it's water-based product. You're going to have this in the refrigerator, yeah. just so you know. Yeah, no, we're going to use it. Just make sure you that. clean the surface before you put it on, just so yeah. it has a good bond. This yeah. already has primer. I'll give so it a, a light sanding when this is dry, seal it with shellac, and I can paint right over the top, and I'll have this light relief underneath underneath my paint. And then I may hit it with a little bit of metallics um, uh, over the top when it's dry. I'll put that over the top of my paint, so it's sparkly, too. That's my plan. It'll all be on YouTube, I promise. All right, you guys, I have made a huge mess. I've got supplies everywhere. Again. Yeah, to try to clean this up. But that's the hazard. I get to have fun with all this stuff. Um, I make bigger messes now. So you guys, I want to give a shout out one more time. Let me turn this piece back around to the front and I'll put my country chic paint up here. No, Sheila, no metallics. Um, yes, Sheila, metallics. Sean was lying to you. Well, <laughs> not tonight, but I am going to because I have a bunch of sparklies, all the sparklies from Posh Chalk. That's what I'm thinking. I also got, guys, you guys are going to keep me on forever. I also got these really cool um, mica powders in, uh, they're like a liquid mica. 
hey, if you guys keep wrong for a while, I'm just going to hit the club, so I'll be, <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll back. Be, I'll be yeah. right back. And just real quick. Yeah, yeah. Just real quick. I got these liquid micas from Crystalac that are really pretty. Whatever I do to it will be on the YouTube video, so just, just go subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll see the full process there. Um, all right, so a shout out to Country Chic. Beautiful paint. It's definitely going to be a paint that I continue to use because I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, amazing product. The colors that I use were Rocky Mountain, uh, Jitterbug, Wondrous, and Vanilla Frosting. Did I get them right? Vanilla Frosting. Yeah. All right, so beautiful paint. Uh, I used their brushes tonight. There's their brush. This one here. <laughs> Just <laughs> kind of throw stuff around. I used their brushes tonight. Also beautiful. And I will be using their clear coats on this as well. That guy's kind of messy. All those colors. I'm going to put a link up in the post as soon as I get off. All right. So you guys shout out to uh, Country Chic Paint. You guys go check them out. And check out their retailers throughout the U.S. and Canada too if you want to see any of it in person. All right. I'm going to get off. It's uh, just before Christmas. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Jennifer. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me again for another Thursday night. You guys make these fun for us too. It's been an amazing year. I'm going to get sentimental on you. It's been an amazing year. Um, and I'm really appreciative. I'm just so, going to make it awkward because I'm right here. I'm a crier. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go slip into my co <laughs> to my cozy earth pajamas. Because that's what life is about. It's like a superhero time. transformation. And I'm just going to spend the next two days watching movies with my kids. So you guys enjoy what? your families. Have a Merry Christmas. Open your presents together. Enjoy your kids. Celebrate together. And I will catch you guys next week. We'll be back. I do have a YouTube video coming out on Friday. We'll have one going up. It's already. That's tomorrow, by the way. Kind of lose what track, track of what day it is. But I do have a YouTube video going up tomorrow on another piece that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, so check that out at Brush by Brandy on YouTube. I'll catch you guys next week. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.